update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN, and I am showing a chart here today at TFNN showing the S&P 500 uh, futures market uh, or the cash, either one you like. And then on the bottom, you can see the advanced decline line. And the advanced decline line has been going down, folks, since the middle of uh, May or towards the end of May when the final top was made. Now, we had a big day on Friday with the market making new highs. And it was making new highs, more advances, more declines than advances were happening. That caused for a sell-off. But today, again, the NASDAQ is in control again. It's already made a 78% retracement of that move. But you can see it's still very, very strong. But this lower chart here is extremely bearish, folks. We see it in the Dow Jones, of course, and we see it in the uh, Russell, but we do not see it in the uh, NASDAQ nor in the S&P. That question is as of yet. We're also getting a little bit of a rally, about a $26 rally in gold today after dropping $100. And also a little bit of a rally in silver. The U.S. dollar, however, has continued to ratchet up higher and higher. That means that the uh, price of the bonds has gone lower as we uh, sort of suspected was going to happen after the report came out. But what we have now is we've got a market that's reacting to just about, this is about 30 stocks, folks. We've got about seven mega stocks in that NASDAQ that make it go up. And you got another 27 or 28 in the S&P 500 that are related to them. And that's why you're seeing this huge divergence that we're seeing right now. Overall, it's a tremendously bearish thing, but the market doesn't always do that. I mean, look at this. We had a huge outside day in the S&P and the NASDAQ, and it couldn't even take out Friday's lows. That was the first you know, shot that's saying, oh, wow, this thing's not as bearish as it actually looks. So we'll look at some of these charts uh, when we come ready for our show that will be coming up here in just a few minutes. Our guest today hopefully will be Alfie Lavoie. Alfie's 90 years old now, and he's the father of all these uh, cycle stuff that they use with Bill Meridian and Shane Smolian and the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. It's the best cycle program ever built. He's going to talk to us about that a little bit, and we'll chat with him and see how the old master is doing. So let's take a little break, and uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes, okay?